Push the weight and no flex. 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 I'm an 88 pack nigga, woof. I'm an 88 pack nigga, woof. I mean, day walk a drink, blood fangs out, full moon, motherfucker, change like the whole thing. I'm just a nigga from the hood, trying to stack a little cheddar for the money, then facing the mud, nigga. OJ never use no gloves. Spit murder, never need no buzz. Okay, nigga, platinum plus, and they never fuck with us. Oh, oh, oh. How long? Style on. Come on, fuck, go wild on. Body on it, is on stage, motherfucker, from a wall, go off, and I'm done talk. Push the weight and no flex. 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 Stop. Stop. Drew Titan Bronze on deck. Shout out to the entire. LDBC. Mm-hmm. I am Ill Will. What's good, brother? Yep. What's good with it, Brody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Supreme Beats Boxing Talk. What's good, my brother? See, you know, I can't call it. What's happening with it? The motherfucking Drews. You got Woo. them right. And you know, you never know what you're going to get on this show, man. You never know what you're going to get on this show. And we are real supporters of the sport. Real supporters of the sport. Let me move over a little bit. Let me move over a little bit. All right. And who we have here tonight, I don't give a fuck what any of you say. I'm a supporter of this man. I used to pick this man on a fight night, on a fight night video games. You know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, Kermit Stephon. What's going on, guys? What's good, brother? Not much, man. I'm uh, just enjoying the retirement, man. Enjoying the family time and uh, just living the life, man. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. Um, yeah, they falling into the chat, man. What's going on? I see y'all in the chat, but we we gonna cook. We gonna cook over the back. I see y'all on there. I see y'all in the in the chat, man. Um, let's get it, man. For those of you who've been living on the moon for the last decade and a half or so, Kermit, let everyone know who you are. Uh, just a just just a normal human being, man. Just like you are, man. Just uh, just you know, just besides the boxing, I mean, you know, just a two-time world champion. Uh, you know, blessed to have a great career. Um, and now just you know, just being a full-time dad, man, and, uh, and a husband. Yeah, that's what it do, man. See, yeah, that that parenting thing, you know, we learn as we go. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's, no book. Teacher, man. <laughs> there's no book you can read um there's it's you know you, you learn as you go you know the child says something to you sometimes you got to let it register for a second you're like what they say oh yeah <laughs> you know, like, how, how do i fix that uh, i don't i don't know i don't know man you know um so um what you been up to man everyone wants to know what you've been up to like i said man just uh just enjoying life you know, enjoying marriage life and you know, I've been married for 17 years, and uh, one of my daughters already, you know, out in college already. She's a freshman in college. Uh, nice. Got a scholarship for uh, for swimming. Uh, oh wow! I got a, a freshman in high school now, and then I have a, a seventh grader. And just, wow. you know, just, just being a dad, just going to their sports events, you know, just uh, enjoying the life, man. Enjoying the kids, and again, just uh, just been blessed. Any of them? Um- Wanted to uh, follow in dad's footsteps, like, like <laughs> to rent, do anything like that? Nah, uh, not even my son. Uh, you know, he just, he wants no parts of it. I, I don't blame him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, look, it's a it's a tough sport inside the ring. Um, it's, in my opinion, it's even tougher outside of the ring. You know, um, the business is brutal. Oh, the yeah. Is, <laughs> man. It's, it's very it's hard, tough. man. But uh, no, nah, he's just a he just, uh, very athletic kid. Um, uh, has plays a couple of uh, different sports. Um, his main sport is, is baseball. Um, 
I mean, he does it all year round. Uh, plays football, um, basketball. Uh, you name it, he'll he'll put his hands on it and he'll do pretty well. That's excellent, man. That's excellent. So, um, what what got you into the sport? Uh, I grew up from the sport of boxing. Uh, you know, all my life. Uh, I mean, what what Puerto Rican doesn't follow boxing? Uh, you know, um, uh, my uncle who raised me along with my aunt, and my grandma. He was a professional fighter himself. His name is Benjamin Serrano. Uh, he fought uh, a few uh, good fighters. Doug Dewitt was one of them. Uh, he ended up actually beating uh, Doug Dewitt before he became a world champion. Um, but uh, yeah, man, just um, I, I just never took it serious until the age of 19. I was in college, you know, on a full ride scholarship for wrestling, and um, you know, dropped out of college to give it a shot. Yeah, you was a wrestler. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Tell me, tell me about that. Tell me about that. I just uh, wrestling is a tough sport, just like just like boxing. Is you know, you're not getting hit, of course. Uh, getting punched in the face, but you know, it just stays, it comes down to the same conditioning. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of strength and, uh, and of course, you know, the technique. Um, but it's a, it's a tough sport, man. With, with uh, wrestling, um, in high school, I dominated. Uh, but once I got to college, man, just um, every match that I wrestled was like a state championship match. You know, it was re- very hard. Um, mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, I just, just got tired of it. Um, not because, you know, uh, getting beat or or whatnot, but the fact that wrestling only could took me take me so 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 much out and far out. You know, maybe try for the Olympics, but what are the chances were that of that? Uh, so I decided to uh, just try the, the boxing sport, and um, you know, as an amateur, I wasn't really serious about it. It was just mm-hmm. just just fighting, um, winning tournaments, and. Um, Turned pro in 2000 after the Olympic trials, made it to the semis um, in the Olympics uh, 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 Eastern trials. Right. And, uh, at that time, um, Jermaine Taylor was uh, actually came in, uh, won the, the the title at that time. Right. Uh, so I got to the semis, um, wished you know to make it to the finals and fight uh, Jermaine because he was the man to uh, to beat at that time. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, turn pro, man. Just and again, you know, it's just I was just a college dropout, uh, trying to make a couple of dollars yeah. in the Boston game. And um, once I got signed with uh, main events in 2000, uh, that's when I really took a series from there. Wow. Well, let me tell you something, man. The first time I saw you, oh man, um, I'm trying to remember what's the first fight I saw you. It was, I really, you know, I really can't remember. Uh, I, it, was it on HBO? Wait, did I, I think the first time, I, like, I knew of you, but I really, really, really paid attention when you flatlined Teddy Reed. Yeah, that was an HBO fight, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. HBO it was an HBO fight, fight. Yeah, that was, yeah, first, and, that was my first title fight. I, it was one of those fights where you was I, I I was like ugh, it's like you you like yeah I was like man he I was like this guy, this guy's killer right here, and in my opinion, the 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 sky's the limit, man. I'm like yo man this this dude man you, you you're rangy you had a really good jab, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like you know, this um this guy I think this guy's special. I think this guy's special. And, Appreciate that, man. And, and, and let me tell you, man. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, man. Listen, out here in New York, right? I'm in New York, right? To me, it is, I want to say it's, it's like, it is a must to have a Puerto Rican fighter because in New York, you know about the Puerto Rican Day Parade. Mm-hmm. And that weekend, the top guy fights at the Garden and celebrates the victory that Sunday. So it is a must. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It is, it is a must. <laughs> now, um, I kind of know what happened. We spoke behind the scenes before, but I want to bring everybody up because everyone in the chat is asking me to ask you. So we're going to go there. All right, we're gonna go there, and I'm not gonna look, man. 
Don't pull no punches. Say whatever you want to fucking say on here. All right. Um, I am not a fan of Antonio Margarito at all. At yeah, all. A lot of people are, man. <laughs> man, listen, I, I can't stand that guy. Um, and um, anyone who knows me knows that I'm I'm really like I'm a stickler for for cheating and boxing. It's a dangerous sport as it is. All right, it's dangerous enough. So I I I, I like. I go somewhere mentally when these guys are on all kinds of peds and doing funny shit with the hand wraps and their funny shit with their gloves. Mm -hmm. And it just makes me sick. Now, back then I was telling people, cause this was before the social media era. I was telling people, I said, look, man, this guy Kermit Centron right now. Um, the other guy, Miguel Cotto, I could see them mixing it up. In New York that weekend, mm -hmm. and at that time, I had you beating Miguel Cotto at that time, because Miguel Cotto ain't really like take off yet. So right. I said, "Yo, you know what? I think this guy Kermit, man, I think this guy could do it, man." And um, I was familiar with Antonio Margarito, and you guys fight, and when it settled in. The first thing I thought was, I don't recall Margarito hitting that hard. Eh. And you know, you brush it off. And then um, I know we're, um, I'm waiting on Golden Johnson. I don't know what happened. Um, he fights Golden Johnson on the undercard of uh, Cotto Mosley. And that didn't look right. But you brush it off like, eh whatever and then he gets caught trying to manipulate the hand wrap see so right there i went back and that made me second think everything that this guy ever did and the first thing that jumped in my head i said man this guy done cheated kermit man hmm. take me through that shit. i'm yeah, still yeah. aggravated thinking uh, about it it's one of them fights where you know I've, Unfortunately, it didn't go my way um, due to cheating. Uh, you know, and I believe that that you know, if you got caught once. What makes you think that you know? A lot of people don't you know just make me th make them think as well that you know this dude had probably done it before. You know, uh, so I'm mm -hmm. sure he's done it um, with a bunch of fighters be even before me. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, you know, that was a it was a fight that I should have won. Uh, mm -hmm. but once I got cut in the, I think it was the first or second round, I just like lost the focus, uh, on, on fighting for the world title. And, uh, and you know, I, I think I, I, I was cut in that, in that, in my, that was my first, my very first time I had gotten cut in that fight. And, uh, and literally my eyelid was kind of like drooping. So, you know, I was, I was, uh, focused on the eye and, uh, totally forgot about the fight. But, uh, yeah, he wasn't as strong or as powerful as may have, as some made it seem. Right. Uh, he, I mean, he definitely had something in his gloves because you know, I, I one sight, I was done with the fight, went to uh to my dressing room. I told my trainers, and I, I believe I re I recalled a call, um, getting interviewed as well, one of the reporters about uh how i felt the knuckles through those gloves and mm -hmm. and i know and that before that the, the teddy reed was probably one of the strongest uh most uh aggressive uh big punchers that i've that i fought uh and i think i wasn't damaged the way margarita did uh i mean the next day uh, my both of my eyes were shut <sighs> both of my eyes were shut and and again, I fought guys that punched harder than he did, and I, I didn't get caught. I never got uh, bruised the way I did. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm sure that he did. Uh, you know, had loaded gloves or uh, hand wraps uh, with that whatever that plaster stuff and his uh, hand wraps. But uh, you know, at the end of the day, um, I sleep good. Uh, I know he does it. Mm -hmm. don't, I, I know for a fact that you know uh, he don't sleep good at night. 
for no, five. I'm, I'm sure he don't. I'm sure he don't, man. And, and that's that's like the worst shit in the world. That's the worst shit in the world. Um, now I, I like I really like like have a detest. Right? I know somebody that knows Fernando Vargas, and um, I'm gonna get him on here. I, I'm I'm gonna try and get him and uh, uh, William Joppy on here to talk about because the, the the rumors about Tito Trinidad's hand wraps are legendary. But mm-hmm. I you know I I can't confirm that. But I can only talk to the guys that for him, and they they say no. No, his shit was loaded. And it, the, I, I remember the way Tito hit Vargas, the reaction he got is the same reaction that William Joppy got. And they both said the same thing. They say they don't remember anything past a certain round in that fight. It was just all instinct. William Joppy said, I don't remember shit after what, round two? I was like, God damn. He said, I don't remember. I don't remember. And I heard Fernando Vargas so pissed, like, yo, if I see him in the street, it's on site. I mean, that's how he's still mad at that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, and- I mean, us fighters, man, we 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 train, you know, our, our butts off to uh to get ready for fights, you know, uh, important fights, and and we go in there knowing that we have not cheated, we have not done, we have not put anything in our our bodies to to be, you know, uh to be ahead of, of every other fighter. Um, what we went in into the ring, that's all natural. Like it was just, everything was clean. And, you know, when somebody cheats, uh, cheats you or, you know, tries to cheat, uh, against you, you know, it just kind of like just, uh, kills the sport. Yeah. Yeah. It's disgusting, man. Now, um, we're, if the Margarito fight doesn't happen, was there an actual like discussion for you leading up to a date with Miguel Cotto? Oh, there was many, many times, many times there was there was talks about about it. There was many times talked about the whole you know uh, the Puerto Rican parade um, the, the night before at the Madison Square Garden. That that talk happened maybe four times, um, uh, but you know the fight never happened. Um, I know that after the, the second Margarito fight. Um, you know, I had at that time I had the IBF, mm-hmm. uh, and I fought him. Same thing. This is like, you know, like okay, I went through all these all these fighters that I've beaten after the Margarita fight. Stronger, faster, mm-hmm. and can punch harder, and there was no damage. But then I once I fight Margarito, I get damaged again, and again, both both my eyes were shut. It's like. Well, so you know, after that second one is when I knew um, that this dude had there was something going on with his guts. Because after that, it was the 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 Miguel Cotto fight, and right right from there. I'm like, you know what? Definitely something's going on. And then he gets caught with uh, with Shane Mosley. Then he got, right right. So let me ask you a question: Your camp were they in his locker room? Were they present while he was uh, wrapping the hands? At that time, uh, to, to be honest with you, the the, for the very first time. Uh, Yes. The second time, I don't remember. Wow. Yeah. Man. Do you think your camp was in on it? Uh, mm. uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, it's just, again, it's just one of the things like, you know, um, you're not going to, you're not going to see that unless, you know, you're a hardcore trainer um, that knows all the tricks to it. Like uh, Nazim Hamed. Right, 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 right. So, so now, um, so it's it's possible that there could be an experienced person just watching the hand wraps and not that that, that what would, he did would, could get yeah. past them. Absolutely, absolutely. And a lot of a lot of times, I mean, you're not you're not really um, because I've gone to you know to uh, other fighters' uh, dressing rooms and, and watched them get wrapped and stuff like that. You're not really there, really hardcore looking at the raps. You're there, you're watching, you know, a little bit here and there. And then, you know, of course, you get other people to talk to you and stuff like that. So that kind of distracts you a, a little bit. Um, but it's it's even the even with the the commissioners, they don't they're not looking they're not looking hardcore at it, and that's a problem. That's the, thank you. That's my point. That's the problem. So you can have commissioners there. You can have people. You can have the appropriate people there, but there's still little tricks of the trade that can oh, yeah. get past certain things, man. You know, you can't catch whether a a a a, a, a wrap is going to turn into a, a cast inside mm-hmm. of a glove. Mm-hmm. You know, um, 
and, and that 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 just that that that's that's just been saying. Shout out to Kyle Local Sports in the chat, man. He says I've been trying to tell folks, but but they are now they, they hear it from a pro boxer. Geez, I've been in the back when hands are being wrapped. Yeah, yeah, he knows. Connell knows. Yeah. Connell knows, man. We, we, they're just not going to catch everything. They're not. And this they're this guy's been crazy. getting away with this, man. Uh, it just it just happened that you know at that time when uh, brother Nazim was uh, in in the dressing room watching mm -hmm. his uh, my girl's hands getting uh, wrapped um, that little fuzzy stuff you know fall off one of their wrap I mean that's how it got caught but if that didn't happen there's no way that uh, that would have you know been caught so hey it is what it is man like I said man I sleep good at night mm -hmm. and I know I know for a fact he ain't. Yeah, he's, he's not, not. you he's know, not. karma's a bitch, man. Karma's it is, it is. Man. He, he had, when he fought uh, uh, Pacquiao. Uh, Pacquiao, I mean, his yeah. eye was busted up and mm -hmm. and you know, he almost went blind. And and Cotto got that get back. Oh, yeah, he did. It, yeah. It, it, it's it's it, it, it. I was enraged because when he fought Cotto on paper, that was a classic puncher versus the boxer puncher, mm -hmm. and Cotto was getting in his ass. And then I remember what started all. He hit Cotto in the body. And Cotto didn't clinch or nothing. He tried to like literally get away from him. And I said, what the fuck was that? And then you hear Max Kellerman say, Cotto's hurt, guys. And I said, yeah, he's hurt. Off of that body shot, I said, this guy hits that hard? Mm. Man, unbelievable. Yeah. And I've never seen Cotto get busted up in the face like that, ever. Ever, 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 ever. Man, I remember. Listen, man, it, I, when I watched the fight, as the as the, as the the rounds went on, here's Cotto looking great, and next thing you know, Cotto's face is the ones getting busted up, and I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, you know? what the, but but you knew what it was. Yeah, oh yeah, I mean, just, mm -hmm. like listen, like after that, man, I was just like, there's no way, man, there's no way. I remember when Miguel fought. Um, it was in Atlantic City, uh, Ricardo Torres. Oh, yeah. I remember he fought with Cardo Torres, and that was like an elevator match. Boom, boom, boom. Cotto went down. He got up. Boom, boom, boom. Ricardo went down. And he almost had Miguel. And mm -hmm. Miguel sucked it up and got out. Matter of fact, I remember after that fight, that was on the undercard of the San Peter Vladimir Klitschko fight. After that fight, they was trying to call Miguel the Puerto Rican Arturo Gatti. And I said, that is not the, the name you want to call yourself, man. Not Absolutely. Gatti. So Cotto... In that fight, his face ain't looked that bad. He didn't look that bad. It, mm. But Margarito, that that looked unnatural. Oh yeah, that, that really did. It really I did. Mean, but you it, you, you it, ignore it. You can tell the difference. I mean, like again, Cotto's fought guys that are bigger punchers, and and Cotto's come out of fights unmarked. Right. You know, so it's, right. It's, it's uh you know it's just it's what happens when you cheat. You know you got <laughs> always gonna get busted. It it was disgusting, man. It was disgusting, and I was glad to see Cotto get his get back. I tried to go to that fight so bad I couldn't make it. I yeah, we were trying to get a out. third fight with uh, Margarito, um, and both camps were uh, had agreed to it. And I don't know what happened. Um, I, I guess we're going just we're going to find we're going to get the fight on 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 a TV spot. That's what happened. Was that was that, was that after? Um, oh, that was after. Um, I want to say this was like maybe uh, this was probably. After the draw against uh, Martinez. Oh. Yeah. You know what? I don't think he wanted it because by then he got figured out. Oh, he was done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, th I think you'd have kicked yeah. his ass because he, he, he's slow as hell and he can get touched. Mm -hmm. He definitely get touched. That's why I could not understand, man. I picked you to win that fight and I could not understand. I said, this guy's not – where the hell is this coming from? And then when, when Brother Nas caught him that night, I said – Motherfucker, this guy, man, unbelievable, oh, yeah. man. Yeah, unbelievable. You know, the, one one of the, one of the reasons why I um I agreed to fight on Gulo was because I knew they had the same exact style, same exact right. style. Mm -hmm. uh, but here, um, yeah, I didn't know how how strong and you know how hard uh Angulo could punch, and you know I he could punch, he could definitely mm -hmm. punch. He had heavy hands, mm -hmm. um, and. You know, when you look, you look at my fight. I mean, yeah, you know, he hit me uh, a lot of times. You know, and thank God, you know, I, I I was in great shape for that fight, and you know, I came out of the victorious. I it was actually 
waiting for the for the for the for the for the uh, judge or the announcer to steal that fight from me. Because a lot of a lot of a lot of the times in the corner, I could hear uh, 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 what's his name, um, Shaw, um, Gary Shaw. Gary Shaw. Oh, okay. Come to my corner. Oh, I go look. I got that round. Oh. Okay, Saint Sean got that round. Oh, I Gula got that round. Oh, I Gula got that round. So I'm like, wait a minute, man. Like, you know, my head, I was like, oh, I got to I gotta start really boxing this dude. So I ended up, you know, uh, sticking to the plan and, and boxing him. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I came out of there with the uh, with the victory because, like, you know, like I said, like, I, I trained really hard for that fight. And um, that was a very important fight because I knew, again, that Angulo fought just like uh, Margarita did. So by me winning the fight against Angulo, that would have – just uh, clean, clean, clean the whole situation. Why you know I lost to my grid and all that stuff. Uh, so you know, and I like again, I came out of there. You know, my face weren't marked nothing. And and, and again, it just when you got loaded gloves, man, it just, it's a big difference. It's a big, big difference. difference. It's a big difference. That, that man, that's something else, man. That's something else. Yo, Cadillac Red, you got any questions for the chat? Yeah. Uh... You said earlier that you was uh you was a wrestler and and you was wrestling in college, so you kind of started boxing late. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about the transition and and the good things that was easy and the shit that was hard for you from moving from wrestling into boxing. Uh, the you know the 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 thing that I took from the from the wrestling is the the work ethic. The work ethic I took that into into boxing and you know and again it was similar to the same. Um, uh, uh, workouts, you know, uh, except for you know, the sparring where you getting you getting punched back. Um, so that was, and in, in, in the forward, you know, you had to be you had to be light on your feet uh, in wrestling uh, in order to you know you can't be I, in boxing you can't either you can't be uh, heavy footed. Uh, but those two things that that really. Um, that I took into boxing and, and again, the, the work ethic, uh, I think it's, it's what really, um, got me to, to, to be su successful in, in the boxing sport. What was, uh, what was difficult? What would you say that was, that would be difficult? I think the, the most difficult thing, uh, just, just getting hit. <laughs> that was the most, just getting hit and, 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 you know, uh, and, and giving back, uh, you know, just again in, in wrestling, you're not you're not getting hit. So all, all you do is just like a lot of movement, a lot of uh, uh, um, uh, moves here and there. But you weren't getting hit. And in boxing, you get hit, man. You get you get dazed. You know, you gotta stay focused. You know, like again, it just um, that's that was the hard part um, uh, for me, anyways. Yeah, that's 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 tough. I remember the. Um... First time, like, like when I had like live sparring, because I'm, I'm not counting the times when I was eight years old running around with headgear that didn't fit me. I'm talking <laughs> about like when I was like a teenager, like, um, first time I got like hit for real, for real, I was about 14, right? And it didn't hurt, but what happened was I got caught right here, right at a temple, and it didn't hurt. It just felt like I got dizzy. And I lost my legs. I felt like I was going this way. And then I felt like I was like, whoa, whoa. And, and the, the, the coach that was in the ring stopped. He was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I said, I'm all right. He said, no, you're not. Hmm. I didn't even know I was doing a stanky leg. I didn't know. And I said, oh, <laughs> shit. That's what it's like. And I was with headgear. That was with headgear. So you don't, you don't play boxing. You don't. No. You don't. This is some serious shit. That's why I'm so hard on uh, 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 this cheating bullshit, man. It's a yeah. bunch of bullshit. I, it, it's disgusting. And when I found out, because it's one thing to, to suspect, but when I found out about Antonio Margarito, it's like, I, I, you know, look, I know the man got a family and all that good shit, but dude, you should never be able to make a living in this sport ever again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, 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 the part that really got me was um, when he did get suspended, for that one, just one year, man. That's it, one year, and uh, not just that, but then he comes back and fights Pacquiao payday and got paid. Yes, I'm like, come on, man. 
But that, that that's the part that hurts the most to me yeah. watching that. I said he 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 got suspended for a year and he was fighting in Mexico, right? He was allowed to make a living in Mexico. Um, mm -hmm. a lot of people don't know. Antonio Margarito is American. He was born here in California. And is is it, then he then he went to Mexico, but he was born here. He, 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 yeah, he went to Tijuana, but he was born in California. So mm -hmm. He's American, so but he went down there, and was able to make a living. And then Bob Aaron pulled some strings, got him back here. His first fight back was with Manny Pacquiao, so you know he made about a good five. Million. I don't know what the I don't know what oh, the first he, was, five, I don't know he got five for. It. He got five million. He got five for it. Yeah, he got five for it, man. That's not fair, man. Yeah. That's not fair. That's not That's fair, bullshit. man. It's, bull, it's bullshit, man. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Will. Uh, I feel on? like I feel like Margarito cheated you, Cotto, and who else he fought? He fought Golden Smart Johnson. Yeah. Golden yeah, Johnson. Yeah. Johnson was a slick motherfucker. Right, he, he was cheated, a slick. Man. I mean, and, and and Golden Johnson, man, just like after the second, third round. I remember that fight too. Uh, he just looked like he hit a wall, like. He can like he can move like like he I would he would normal move, uh, move. Like, yeah I remember I, I remember Golden Johnson he was a smart motherfucker man yeah so like, go yeah he hell go. yeah hell you can go too shit <laughs> yeah, man, but, yeah. I mean Golden Boy man I mean like, Golden Johnson man he was a he was a fighter man I liked him I remember watching him uh, man I was in high school I was watching him and you know on ESPN I was even watching uh Taylor Reed on ESPN right. Right. I remember yeah, that right. fight with Teddy Reed, though. I remember that fight. That was a dope fight. That was yeah. a dope fight. Y'all went to it. You know, uh, that fight, man, that was, um, man, I got to uh, train at uh, uh, Muhammad Ali's uh, camp here in Pennsylvania, a place called Deer Lake. Um, now they turn, they turned that into a, a museum now. It's pretty nice. Uh, but, yeah, I was the only fighter that I was allowed, ever to allow to uh, train there. And that's because uh, who owned it, uh, you know, when we went to see him and, and asked him to see if we can train there, he was like, ah, oh, you know, I don't know. You know, let me get back to you. I have to see. I said, like, listen, just throw a number out there, man. I get, I'll, whatever. All right, 15 grand. All right, 15, hit him. Hey, right, boom. Because I, cause I wanted to train there. Mm -hmm. You know, and, I mean, and, 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 and just just like when I when I got there, like, you could you could feel the spirits of like all the world champions that have gone through through there. Mm. I mean, Sonny Liston when when they're um, wow. uh, I mean, you you name it, all the uh, good old fighters. Uh, uh, the guy from um, uh, from Philly uh, was there too. Um, uh, what the heck is his name? Which one? Uh, heavyweight. Um, oh, Joe Frazier. No, not yeah. Joe Frazier went through there. Mm. Um, uh, damn, what's the other, other guy's name? Um, uh, he's 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 still around. He's uh you know he's still around. B you talking about B-Hop? No, not B-Hop. He's a heavyweight too. Oh, heavyweight. He's a heavyweight. Okay. Yeah, I can't think of his name, but a lot of a lot of those guys, man, just just heavyweights have gone through there, and it was just an amazing experience for me. Uh, you know, I I left there. Um, shoo, man, I left there sharp. Uh, I was ready for Teddy Reed. I was ready for Teddy Reed. I mean, and, and the reason why too is because I, I Tim Witherspoon. Tim Tim, yeah, that's him. Tim. Yep. Tim. Yep. Power um, you know, mm -hmm. I remember when we had gotten the fight, they offered us that fight. Uh Teddy Reed had just like uh fought this 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 guy who he ended up uh going into a coma and dying. So mm -hmm. at that time I was young, I was 21. I was like, oh hell no, man, I gotta get ready for this. And uh, yeah, man, uh, it was a fight that I, I will never forget. I think that was probably probably one of my best performances. Yep, it damn sure was because, I, like I said, that was one of those fights where I was like, "Ugh, woof." Yeah, yeah, that, 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 was, man, that was, was he can crack, man. He mm -hmm. can crack, but uh, yeah, I was ready. I was ready. All right, so there's another fight I want to talk to you about: um, the Paul Williams fight. I was watching that. I was amped about that fight. I, I was a huge supporter of Paul Williams, but I, I always said I was honest about Paul. Um, he swung very, very wild, very mm -hmm. wide, but he had a great chin. This was prior to the Martinez situation, was it? It was prior to Martinez. Was it, was it before, before or after Martinez? Before, before. It was before Martinez. Before, yeah, yeah. Um, 
uh, um, he had Emmanuel Stewart in his corner at the time. So I said, oh, I'm sure Emmanuel's going to clean him up. But um, he was very game and he had a high output. And then I said, okay, he's fighting Kermit. I said, Kermit could crack. I think Kermit is clearly the better boxer. Um, I think he'll take uh, Paul into deep water and outclass him later. And I picked you to win that unanimous decision due to your skill set. Mm -hmm. um, talk to me about what happened in that fight because I got scared when I when I saw you fall out the ring. I got scared. I didn't know what the hell was going on. So yeah, what happened I mean, there? listen, that it was a fight that a, a freak happened. I mean, like I, I still to this day, I still can't believe that shit happened to me. Um, <laughs> Man, you know, uh, I know, I know for a fact that I was get I was getting him in every round. For whatever four rounds that we lasted, no, you was, was winning. You was winning. I was, was winning. winning. I know I was winning. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, here, um, when I had hurt him bad, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I had, I had, he had bent down. I had mm -hmm. put a lot of pressure behind his neck. I was putting, I was pushing him down. He was fighting up. And mm -hmm. once he fell with me pushing or you know, putting pressure down, that mm -hmm. kind of like just spun me, and and I just like lost balance of myself, and just <laughs> next thing you know, I'm off, I'm out the fucking uh, ring. Uh, that was crazy. But uh yeah, and then um when I'm out there, like you know, I just all all happened to me was like I, when I hit the 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 the, the monitor and would knock the wind out of me. So then I'm on the oh. floor gasping for air. I'm trying to catch my air, um my breathing back, and here comes this doctor and says, Oh, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm you know, I'm, I'm, let me get up, let me get up. And then at one time he had asked me. Are you ready to continue? And I shook my head, saying no, as I was like just trying to gasp for air. And next thing you know, he asked me again, and I said, "I just shook my head. I'm like trying to catch that that that." Yeah, trying to get your breath, right, right, right. And next thing you know, he he he. As soon as I was like, I said, I said, I shook my head, saying no, and then I was just about you know just ready to go. I right. was just about to stand up, and he he took his knee, put pressure on my back. He said, no, stay down, stay down. And he waved the fight. When he waved the fight, I knew what right, right in there and then that this motherfucker works for Al Heyman. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding you, y'all. This motherfucker works for Al Heyman. Oh, absolutely. I, and I'm, I'm not in a listen, man. To this day, I don't, I don't give a shit what people say. That motherfucker works for Al Heyman. And, and that, was, oh. that, was, that, was, that was actually, that was actually wow. a, way for, a way for Paul Williams to get out of that fucking fight. Yo, what? <laughs> and after the fight, I mean, I went to the doc, to the hospital. And fucking, that was all, all bullshit. I come back, um, uh, I get into a front, front confrontation with uh, uh, Paul Williams' team. After I came back from the hospital to the hotel room, they call me a bitch and here and now. I was like, motherfucker, that motherfucker, that nerd, that doctor, fucking save your fucking ass, motherfucker. That's what I said to him, to them. And I said, and I went upstairs to my room. And here, Manny Stewart calls me. He's a like, Kermit. You're right. I said, like, Yeah, I'm okay. He's like, Just to let you know, there was some fishing, uh, fishing is going uh, going around at, at uh, when they were doing the scorecards. They were changing shit around. I was like, You serious? I was whoa, like, yeah. whoa, 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 what? Oh yeah, they changed the scorecard. They changed the scores. They changed Damn. the scores. To what? In favor to uh, in favor uh, uh, to Paul. Uh, Napoleon. Bullshit. That's not what I saw. You was winning the fight, man. Oh, yeah. well, you was winning the fight. You was clearly winning the fight. In fact, I, I get that call. I got a call from uh, from from Man of Story, and he's telling me that, and I'm like, fuck. How can I? How can I prove this? And I said, like, can I use you as it? And then he didn't. He didn't want no. He didn't. He didn't. He just wanted to let me know uh, what was going on. You know I, what? And the thing is, and the thing is, like, I kind of like, I kind of like, after I thought about it, I kind of let it go the next day because. I didn't want a man of sewer to get fired from HBO. But he snitched. So he did. He oh, did. Shit. He did. Damn. You know? And I you know, I just I just let it go. And uh and again, you know, like how do you go from uh score being I think it was like 40 to like 36, and then one judge for me, anyways, and then one judge uh, the two other judges had it for for Paul Williams. Uh, I think it was like 30, 38 to 36 or 38 to 37 or something like that. I don't know. It was a, a ridiculous uh, number. And, yeah, yeah, when a manager Stewart called me and, and, and told me that, I was, my, dude, my fucking my, – my heart came out of my asshole, man. 
Like I was like, what the fuck, man? I, and I, and I, felt, I knew I won that fight. I knew I won that fight. Hey, you didn't tell me he's gonna come over here and drop a nuclear bomb, bro. Oh my god, that's a bomb right there. Bro. Dang. Man. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, if Manistor, if Manistor was alive today, he would say the same thing. Damn. Oh man. He would confirm it. Hey, but people don't want to believe that Wilder got cheated though. Oh, go ahead, Dr. Drew. My bad. Yo, now see that was my see see I'm see I'm glad you you bringing this up I'm brand because I, I I'm on the, I'm on the, I'm on the job I'm on the job I ask everybody that wants to debate me about I, first of all I don't debate nobody I, I share my opinion because I know what I see um I like to talk to you guys like you Kermit because you're the pro and especially you because you have been cheated. And I didn't know about this Paul Williams shit mm -hmm. before you even dropped that nuclear bomb. I told you you was winning that fight. Mm -hmm. You was up. It was a wash. And and I, I remember watching it at home and I was watching with some friends and I said, yo, if this shit keeps up, two things are going to happen. He going to drop Paul for the Vision. first time. Paul was, Paul was going to get knocked out that night. He was mm -hmm. going to get knocked out. The way I felt mm -hmm. from the first round and on, mm -hmm. he was going to get knocked out. If y'all don't believe me, the fight gotta be on YouTube. I never checked, but the fight gotta be on YouTube. Look yeah. it up. Oh, let me Kermit, see. Kermit was Kermit was clearly winning the fight, and I was a strong supporter of Paul. But after that third round, I said, "Shit, this is gonna end two ways. If Paul's chin holds up, mm. it's a UD for Kermit. Bottom line. Oh, or, it's on here. or or Kermit's gonna catch him in the exchange in the pocket, and he gonna knock he gonna knock the shit out of Paul. That's what I told my boys, and then mm -hmm. and then the, the, the ring incident happened. Yeah, I was like, man, it's, fuck, uh, man? it's a it's a shame that it went that route, but um, you know, it's it's uh, it was it was actually probably probably the fight where I kind of like just like decided to fuck this shit, man. Like my my mind and everything, like kind of like just like my the love for the sport, it kind of just like just fucking left my body. And, yeah. and you know, and ever since that fight, you know, the the, the struggles happened. You know, where I, I wasn't focused uh, on, on my training camps. Uh, you know, I had started training with with uh, with uh, Ronnie Shields and all these guys, and it was just like it, I was a big mess after that. I was a big mess. I you know, I got him. Wherever they put him in front of me, there I, I was still going there and half-assed uh, my training camps. No. Uh, I mean, I, I fought fucking. Um, uh, uh, Canelo. Uh, when I fought Canelo, I they oh. fucking gave me three weeks of uh, fuck it, let's take the fucking fight. I, I didn't care. I didn't care anymore. I didn't care anymore. So you didn't, fight. you didn't, you didn't give a hundred percent that can't because again, I I believe that I've seen you in the prime of your career, and and I don't give a fuck what anyone says. To me, you were damn good. You were damn good. I appreciate and you. Yeah, on yeah. paper. On paper, at that time when you fought Canelo, on paper, if if I got if I got a one hundred percent committed Kermit Centron, I think you could have beat him. I, no, I, hands down, you hands beat down, Canelo I on the cards, but I would have been that dude too. Uh, but you know, again, like you know, after that Paul Williams fight, man, I was so fucking disgusted, and uh, I didn't know the Al Heyman shit. I didn't know that. Listen, man, what's your thoughts on that? On, on, on that Al, on I don't know. What's that? That doctor, man, once what man, when he weighed that fight, I'm like, what the fuck, man? All I needed was a fucking moment to catch my breath back and let me back in the ring. And then don't forget, even before the fight in the locker room, they were like, uh, they changed the rules. They were like, oh, uh, after the third round. We're gonna go to the scorecards and instead in, in case of a headbutt. And, they, and the fight has to get stopped. I was like, I never heard of this before, but okay. Mm. So that was another thing, like um that they, they put out there, uh, you know. It's my alarm. But yeah, man. Uh man, I've been cheating so many so many times in the sport of boxing, man. Uh with 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 I mean it, and it's gonna come to even to the to, to the finances finances. Um you know, like so many promises. Oh, you win this fight, you're gonna get this 
next guy, and you're gonna make this much amount of money. I said, all right, no problem. You win, I win. Next thing you know, I'm waiting, sitting around, and I get a, a, a fucking bum in front of me. Uh, so that's like that's other that's all other situations where like I kind of like uh, stopped being so focused in, in boxing, and I stopped caring so much about my career because situations just like just just kept screwing me. And I said, you know what, man. I'm just getting tired of this shit. Let me let me get the let me just do something different. And and every time um, I will stop, uh, I would call. Hey, you know I got this guy. You know blah blah. blah. Uh, what do you think of this fight? All right, let's, fuck it, let's do the fight. Um, but I know that if I was 100 percent focused, still to the to the my career, uh, to the uh, Paul Williams fight, um, my career my career would have been a totally different in a totally different uh, spot right now. I still, I still probably be fighting, um, making a lot of money, um, pro- probably beating this fucking young, uh, thirsty fucking money ma- ma- makers, whatever they, they, you want to call them. Um, <laughs> they, 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 they don't, they don't. You no, know, I, I sit back and I, and I watch. Like I watch. It's like damn. Like when I first fucking started fighting, I was, I was making four hundred dollars for six rounds. These dudes are making fucking half a million, a quarter of a million, half a million on their pro debuts. I'm like, where, where, like, where do they get the um, uh, the privilege or the the saying in 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 how much making, uh, how much money they, they should be making? You know, they were so. Uh, um, I tell my kids all the time, it's like, you know, you you, you all kids need to stop being. Uh, 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 what's the word I, I'm always using? Um, um, I can't think of the word, but uh, privilege. Like, uh, no, they always yeah they always have like like you don't have no privilege of to, to anything. You don't have no um no saying in anything. You don't have no uh, 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 um like everything is like given to them. They, they don't have right. that. They don't. They right. don't. Ungrateful. Yes, no, it's not not even that. They don't. They don't. Be deserving what they're getting. Mm. You know what I mean? Like they right. don't they don't work hard for 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 the stuff that they these kids these days get. Mm-hmm. You know, like they're not like us, but like we out there fucking shoveling snow uh, or or going to 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 your neighbor asking them, oh, let me we whack your uh, your 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 grass the edges uh, for ten bucks or twenty bucks, whatever. You know, just to make a couple of dollars. These kids these days, man, they they think they fucking. Uh, they, everything is give me, give me, give me, and they don't work nothing for it. You know, my, and my kids, man, I, I'm thankful for my kids mm-hmm. because you know they're great kids, you know, and I'm, I've been raising them. Uh, of course, you know, to be to be great kids and be, to be young human beings, um, and and they know, they know, they 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 gotta they gotta they if you want something, you gotta work for it. I'm not gonna yeah. just give it to you, you know. And the fighters today, the young fighters, they they think they just they deserve to get everything at all, at, right there and then. Uh, you gotta work for it. Yeah, that's, um, that's 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 I agree with that totally. Um, yeah, yeah, shout, mean, out, shout out shout out to Chef Curry and that cash app. Most love and appreciation, soldier. Um, I don't know if that's the real John Page in my chat. I got a uh, I got another question too. Go you, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Don't he uh, got a wrench? Yeah, he got a wrench. That's not the real John Page. Get out of here. You said, oh, he get him out of here. You said Canelo gave you uh uh three weeks to train, so he been doing that short training shit for that long. Tell me, uh, about- man, listen. When, once 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 you got you get the name and and you you feel you have the the, the saying, the opponents are fucked. Listen, I when I fought <laughs> when I fought uh Canelo. And I fucking went, walked into that fucking ring, man. That shit was a fucking phone booth. That shit was like a 14 by 14 ring. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? I was like, hey, I'm a boxer. I'll stay in the outside. I box, you know? Right. Uh, but now, nah, man, I, and again, nah, you know, I, I was not going to come out of there with victory anyways. I'm not talking, I knocked him out. And if I did knock him out, I was going to come out of there in a fucking body bag. So it didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Fucking fall him, fall, fall him at uh, Mexico City, one of the fucking worst cities I've ever fucking been to, man. I'll never go back there again. But uh, yeah, um, 
like I said, man, I just my focus after that Margar- after the uh, the Paul Williams fight, I just I kind of just like just gave it up. So, hey, Kermit, yeah. what's going on, man? I got a question. Sure, man. Yeah, you know I me. Mean? You we you text talk all the time, so hey, listen, I got a question. And um, I think I, I brought this up to you before, but it's what I feel. Maybe the chat may think the same thing, but to me, I think. Your best performance was against Walter Latisse, and you beat him up pretty bad and looked spectacular. Do you think that performance um, caused Floyd Mayweather and Shane Moley to avoid you? What you think, man? I, that's what I think. You know, honestly, man, like, I don't even know if that was my best performance. Ooh. It was one of those things where, like, man, I had a, uh, um, I don't know, man, I had a, I want to say half of my high school went to that fight. I was punk, man. I went to – man, I got friends that came from my high school that I haven't seen in years and years and years. And they came to my fight, man, and, and I was punk. I was ready to put a performance. And and that's what I did, man, that night. I just put a performance and, and you know, and, of course, make a statement because I know that uh, Paul Williams had fought him uh, before I did. And and, and he, gave, he gave Paul Williams a, a hard time. Um but uh, after the fight, you know, honestly, man, like after the Angulo fight, um, negotiations started talking for uh, for the for the uh, um, uh, uh, the Mayweather fight. Really? Yeah, yeah. There was the negotiations that had started, and and what happened was when Shane Mosley was fighting, uh, was training and, and getting ready to fight uh, Berto. When mm-hmm. Berto dropped out of that, that fight because I of the, that. he, you know, his country, they hit the, the earthquake hit or whatever. The earthquake hit, hit Haiti, yeah, yeah. yep. So he dropped out of the Shane Mosley fight. That's how that's how I got put to the fucking side, and Shane Mosley came in. And yeah, there's another, there's another, there's another uh, example of how I got screwed in this fucking sport. Praise the Kendo two point oh. Praise the Kendo two point oh, man. That's crazy. It's crazy. Wow. That's crazy. It's crazy, man. But that it can't happen in boxing. Crazy. It can't happen. You're delusional. <laughs> you, you look. You, you're hearing it right now from the professional himself, man. They don't yeah. care. They're all still all, up all the things that, man. If, 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 I bet you, if we had a book on all the shit that should have happened, all the fights that we were supposed to get, y'all remember? Y'all remember we were supposed to get Shane Mosley versus Zab Judah? Yep. Oh yeah. And, mm-hmm. and, and Zab Judah had a kitchen, literally a kitchen accident. He like cut his hand or something. Oh, like I remember. That. Yeah, I remember that. Yep. And I was, uh, I was, uh, when I won the world title against, uh, the IBF title against, um, Mark Suarez, mm-hmm. my next opponent was supposed to be Shane Mosley. So here Damn. I was with this, I was with this promoter, Bobby Bossy. Um, Shane Mosley people offer me 750. I was like, all right, no problem. I- I'm here to fight. Right. right I know right, I'm going to be making the money. As I win, I'll be making the money. Right. They offer me seven fifty. I said, right, I'll take the fight. <laughs> My promoter comes back to me and says, and at that time, mind you, and that at that time, uh, uh, um, uh, Stewart uh, was training me. Emmanuel Stewart was training me. Right. So Emmanuel Stewart and I are on the phone, and he goes, I'll, I'll, there, the, 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 the 750 on the table, I'll, I'm going to offer you 25% of it. That's my promoter telling me. He's offering me 25% of that 750. Wow. How is that? I'm like, I'm like, how does that make sense? Oh, it doesn't work that way, man. You look, look at the contract. You, you're supposed to be giving me 85 and you keep the 15. What's his name? So I can fucking Bobby, avoid Bobby him. Bobby Bostic. Is he still oh, around? Lost it, man. He, he's out of Florida. He he uh he was a fraud. He was a fraud. Yeah, he was a fraud, man. So that fight never happened because of that reason. Yeah. Mm. He, 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 he thought you couldn't count. He thought you couldn't count. Oh man, man I guess, I guess, I guess so, man. I guess so. I guess so, man. It's, it, it was crazy, man. And Matt Stewart could not believe it. Am I, are you crazy? <laughs> Ah oh, man, if Matt Stewart was open, uh, alive this today, man, I- I'd make sure he would be on a, on a, here with us right now. Uh, but yeah, I would love to talk to him, on, you know. But I got yeah. close. I talked to his fucking nephew. Oh, Javen. You no, know, Sugar Hill. Yeah, Sugar Hill, Javen. Yeah. Whatever, man. That. Whatever, man. Yeah. yeah just, I, Jesus Christ. 
Carter, one more question too, man. Can you tell let everybody know your relationship with the Charlo boys? Charlo oh, brothers? man, the Charlo Listen, I haven't I haven't talked to the Charlo brothers for a while for a long time, but uh when we were in camp, it was work time. Those two, in my opinion, you will never see anybody work harder than those two brothers. So competitive towards each other, like against each other, like all of us. Like it's just like you go to the track, I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna fucking laugh your shit. I mean, it was it was that that type of uh, training camp every time, and that's how they are. That's how they are. They're so fucking competitive. I mean, there's nobody out. I, and, and you know what? They deserve what they have today. I see it with my own eyes. They deserve what they have. What they have today. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not mad at them. I'm not mad at them at all. Be mad at those um, two. They work you know. hard, and you don't. You a lot of people don't see the behind the scenes. They don't see it. They don't see that. They only see the the, the damn flashing and being yeah. you know uh, uh, flashy here and there, whatever. But they don't see the 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 behind the scene when how hard those two work. They work hard. I'm telling yeah, you, I, my I, opinion. I, I, I will bet my house that there's no other fighter out there that training as hard as those two. No way. Yeah, yeah. I I I, I ignore. The flash and all of this other shit. Yeah. You know, that's that that that's just to catch the eye of the casual fan. I look at what I see, the mechanics behind what they do in, in the ring, and those those guys are good. Mm -hmm. Those guys They're are good, damn yeah. good. They're those good. guys are really good, man. Um, do you think um that Maul beats uh Canelo? I give I tell you this. My percentage on on, on Charlo being being 110%. They won't fight. Canelo won't fight him. No way. And, and if they do, I'll be surprised. Mm. I'll be surprised. I, I said that myself. Mm -hmm. He'll never fight Charlo. Maul, Maul, never. Maul will put a whooping on him. Trust me. That jab? Uh, match. The when, uppercut, when, I was, when I was training with them, I mean, I, I, at the time, you know, I was like uh, the world champion and, and they were like, you know, uh, looking up to me and, and, tra and training inside of me and all the stuff. And when I sparred with those those two brothers, dude, it was like fighting fucking world champions. They were, they had it, they they've had it all that time. They've had it. Even um um uh the kid from Louisiana, he, he lives in Texas too. Uh, Katie, um, Rugger Rugger uh, Rugger 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 He's another one. He was in training camp with all of us. I mean, we all got yeah. trained for the, by the same trainer, and and uh, you know Ryan Shields. And I mean, we we just he worked hard, man. We worked hard. Those guys, man, they work hard, and they deserve everything they have today. Wow. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at somebody in the chat. They want to know if uh, if Sal, do you think Canelo will retire if he becomes undisputed at 168? Well, look, but, well let me give my retire. opinion. On that. He's talking about he's got another seven years. I think I think that um, that he's going to be nitpicking all his opponents just like Mayweather did. I heard that right. I mean, why, how how the hell do you go from one one forty seven, one fifty four, then to go all the way to, to one thirty five and and become a world champion in that weight class like out of nowhere? Why? Why? Because he picked the weakest link in that division. Yeah, he, he damn sure did. Who the hell is Rocky Field? Building, whatever his name is, <laughs> exactly. Like, come on, like even even with Alex, uh, even with uh, Smith, I didn't think too much of, uh, of Smith. When I, I watched a couple fights, uh, um, uh, or on YouTube mm -hmm. of him, and I didn't. He wasn't impressed. He he didn't impress me at all. I mean, like, and, and I knew that that uh, kind of was gonna walk through him. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Yo, Supreme Beast, I know you pressed for time, brother. You got any more questions? Uh no nah, no nah, no nah. that that was that was uh all I had you know what I'm saying I appreciate appreciate you having me on the platform you know what I'm saying uh Kerm definitely appreciate you you know what I'm saying coming uh, I appreciate here. you guys having me on man yeah definitely man I, I I salute you for that uh yeah man uh, other than that man you know uh subscribe man Supreme Beast Boxing Talk we on we on the road to one K you know what I'm saying no doubt put, make sure you put your link in the chat brother yeah you know, yeah I, 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 I put that in there uh on yeah. the way out uh thank thanks again Drew no doubt family. All right, Batman, Batman in the yo, building. Yo. What's good, fam? Yo, that wasn't you in the um in the chat, was it? Yeah, that was me. I was listening. That was man, you trying trying to stay up. 
which I was talking about and shit. I was on, I was on, oh, you know, shit. I was on a jail call with the homies, man. You know, I, had, I thought you had a wrench on here, bro. I thought I you went, had a wrench. Bro. I went and hit, I went and hit you and everything, bro. I ain't mean it, man. I, 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 gotta, take, I, I gotta take, I gotta take. I gotta take you out of jail. I wasn't sure if it yeah. was you or not. All yeah, right. you gotta put, right. you gotta yeah. give them a wrench, bro. I got I gotta know because these weirdos out here be stealing yeah. names and stuff, and acting like they man. Come on, man. Batman the no, people. Nah, that was me. Nah, that was me. I was uh, my, my was bad, bro. Me, but I, let's, let's, I wanted to keep it. I wanted to keep up with what y'all were talking about. You know, uh, no doubt. All right. Well, you got you I got any questions for? Uh, here, man. You got any questions for Kermit? Kermit, yeah, hey Kermit, man. I was letting people know, man, that boxing is really fucked up, fucked up, so real, man. If you're not, a, if you're not a favorite, you can get dicked at any moment. Absolutely, man. <laughs> Absolutely. Listen, man. The only way, only way you're safe is with your Al Hammond. If your Al Hammond fighting you, ho, 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 no, no. I mean, I, I, I can't. Let me let me leave that alone, man. <laughs> let me leave that alone. Yeah, yeah. You you might. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Nah, Kermit, nah, Kermit, if you don't I know, mean, man, he, he listen. He's he's taking care of his fighters, man. I am taking care of his fighter, and he's the nah, all of them. Uh, I, I, I take care of all of them. No. Kermit, Kermit, if you don't know, this is Gary Russell's older brother. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so they, so, okay. so he's, <laughs> he's he's, he's kind of limited right now. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Bro, he, <laughs> listen, man. You get you, what's what's going on with your brothers, man? Like, come on, man. They're, they're, they're good. It ain't him. It ain't them. They're, I mean, they're not they're not busy. They're not as busy, but. You mean it's doing good, man. I, I'm proud of those guys too, man. It's the managers and the it's the managers and the promoter. My brother will my brother wanna fight every two times, three times a year, but you know what I'm saying? I mean he 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 ruffles somebody feathers, so you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know, sometimes 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 I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Sometimes um as a fighter, yeah, you do wanna fight uh two or three times. I wanted to fight three, four times a year, but Listen, when you're dominating, nobody wants to fight you. So what's happening is your your fighter, Al Heyman's fighter, your, your brother, is making it hard for Al Heyman to make fights for him because he's dominating. He's looking great in, in fights. Nobody wants to lose. Nobody wants to lose, and that's the problem today. Everybody's everybody's trying to protect their 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 O. That's what that is. Mm. That's all that is, man. Man, that's that's, nah, that's I, difficult, man. That's what I've been right, trying to saying? tell y'all. All, all these guys that, that say they want to fight Gary Russell, they're a bluff. Nobody wants to fight. Nobody wants to fight. And if you're looking good and sharp, I mean, why can't why can't uh, not right now? How, what what way is your brother fighting at Russell? Uh, Gary Russell, he, he 120, fighting at one, he, he, he fighting at one twenty six. But the catch is, he want to fight anybody that's a champion. From one from one thirty five to one twenty six, that want to fight. He don't want to see. People keep telling me to tell him to take this. Uh, uh, won't you fight somebody else to see what you look like at one twenty six? Wow, we a champion. We trying to go. No, you're fight. wasting your, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your career doing that. You're wasting your career because what happens is you go and go ahead. You go, you go and fight, right? You come out of there with a with a broken hand or. Cut whatever, like then you're gonna be sitting down for for another how long? How many days? How many months? How many, maybe a year or two uh, out because of a broken hand or something like that. It's not worth it. Yeah, it's happened to me many times. Fight, fight I, I would have had yeah. today, today, and today. I, if if you count my the time that I've been out of boxing because of injuries, that's four years. Four years. Two years I had to be out completely because of my hand surgery. And then in between that, I had uh, hand surgeries and, and and broken hands. That was a total of four years. That's right there, four years. That's two two fights a year. That's six, eight, eight fights. And that and that miss you out on your big opportunity. Yeah, absolutely, man. And again, man, who's who's the manager? Uh, Al Heyman is the advisor and manager. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm I'm sure that I'm sure that by Gary looking the way he's looking. Is making it hard for 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 Al Heyman to to get on fights. It's just like mm. when my promoter was trying to give me fights, my, the opponents were asking for freaking a freaking bunch of money. Like, no man, doesn't work that way. Either you accept the fight or you don't. 
And that's where that's where I'm, I'm sure that's where Russ is at. Why why isn't that Al Hammond can't make the fight with uh 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 with Lomachenko? By the way, I thought your brother won that fight. Mm -hmm. With Lomachenko. Right yep. there, Paul, right? Yeah. Yeah. He if he'd have got if he'd have got a knockdown, it'd have been a tie, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Why why can't uh, him make that fight happen? That's that's a fight that needs to happen too, right now. Because Bob Arum don't want it to happen. And that's another thing. I am mean, once his fighters fight his fighters, you know. So it's like it, it's listen, the boxing is so damn dirty, man. Speak on it's it. It's so damn dirty, man. Speak on it. It's so damn dirty. Up, man. Promoters keeping them golden boy, keeping I mean, making sure that he has enough uh welterweights or middleweights uh to keep those guys fighting each other uh while he makes money. And then you got Bob Aaron, greedy. Fucking guy, man. I, I'm, I'm curious what is gonna happen when, 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 when he's gone. What's gonna happen to his company? Um, what else, man? Like it's, right now, and, and, not, and all honesty, man, I think Al Hammond is the, is the, is the man to be with. Because in my opinion, he's taking care of his fighters, and that's, I mean, I, unless, unless I'm seeing something, I, I don't see something. Right. You know, I'm not, in, I'm not. Back then, behind the scenes, I'm I'm only seeing from the outside. I'm like, damn, I wish I was with Al Hammond. Right now, yeah, I'll pay. I'll pay the most. I'll pay yeah. the most. I'll pay you what you worth. Yeah, it just it just uh it just uh, keeping his fighters busy. I understand that, and then again, that's their fighters' fault. It's them is themselves. It's their fault because you need to stop looking good in fights for for other opponents to fight you. Look! Look at look at uh, Broner. Listen, I thought Broner lost that fight last night. I just watched. Yeah, it I did fight. too. I just right, let me get your fight. opinion on that. Let me get your opinion on that. What you thought? I just watched it this morning. I'm like, <laughs> I I don't see uh, how I saw it one sixteen to one fourteen at at as that close. That's it. But I had the other guy winning. I mean, I thought Broner only, only won four rounds. Wow. Mm. I, I didn't. I didn't wow. want that fight. And he started winning like at round number nine. He started fighting at round nine. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, man. Somebody 17 110. Someone had it for Adrian. That oh, was yeah. crazy. That's ridiculous. That was, nah. that was ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Yeah. If anything, it should have been it should have been to uh to the kid that just fought him. It's crazy. He he, he worked well, his yeah. ass off, man. The, 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 you know, I, there was a lot of low blows that that the ref Ignored, but Santiago was smart because when he was throwing those low bow on his low blows, the ref was on the other side. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that was, yeah, you know, I, I get it. <laughs> I ain't gonna take that from him, but um, he worked, and um, it was a close fight. It was a close fight. Um, at most, uh, I scored it a draw because of that first round. It was a field around and. I treat the first round like that, like baseball. A tie goes to the runner. Mm -hmm. So it's like, whatever, man. Um, was it a robbery? No, but 117, 110, that was some bullshit. That's, yeah, it was hard. That was bullshit. 117, And that point taken away from him. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was also bullshit, but, that, you know, yeah, 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 we, I, knew, we knew who, who, was the, who, was the, who, who they wanted to win. And, that, and that's what that's where I'm like, man, that's an Al Hammond move right there. You don't do. You don't take that away from that that kid that just beat him clearly. <laughs> yeah, Mister Mechanical <laughs> said, "AB got an early Christmas gift." Oh, hey, hey, he, man. Hey, he's got he's got to pay his legal fees or whatever it is, man. Hey, yeah, but, he but needed he that. Fight, I, if, but if he ahead. fight, if he fight Regis Regis program like that, he getting fucked up. Oh hell yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So is he sticking at one forty or what's he doing? Yeah. Um. No, Bro, he's I, heard, I heard. I heard. I he's gonna go to one forty. One forty. Trying to get the one forty, but he's trying to work himself there. So he already in shape. So he's trying to work himself back down to one forty. But if he fucking fight like that, he is going to get fucked up. He's been listen, man. He's been damaged ever since. Uh, uh, what's his name? The the uh, what's his name? Margarito, not Margarito, but uh, what's his name, man? Madonna. He been. He Michael been. Winner. He been. Oh, Madonna. <laughs> He been gunshot. He been gunshot since the Madonna fight, man. I think Madonna messed him up bad, man. Yeah, 
Um, yeah, I really think that happened. Think so too. Speak, but, speaking of gloves, goddamn it. <laughs> Madonna did some fuck shit with those gloves too. You yeah, think? He ain't had that. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know when Mayweather yeah. did the joint, he ain't had that much padding in the first glove. Them the same gloves used in, 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 in the Asian world. And that's what Garcia so, said. Floyd said, you'll feel these gloves. There ain't no padding in the gloves. And Garcia said, these are the gloves we use against Adrian Broner. I said, huh? He, he, he told on himself, man. Uh, he told, I said, oh, shit. I don't know anything about that, man. Yeah, yeah. It's on YouTube. He said, these are the same gloves we use against uh, uh, against Broner. And he said, no, you ain't using these. You're not using these. Ain't no fun. He said, feel it. There ain't no padding in them. I said, wait a minute. No padding. Hmm. Use them against Broner. Broner had the shock look. He had Broner had the same look on his face that that Fernando Vargas had in the first round of their fight against Felix Trinidad that uh, William Joppy had in the fight against Felix Trinidad. You know, it, he had the same look, and I'm like, yo, it's like you get boom, and you're like. You get hit here, and then you look over here like, yo, what's going on? What, what, what just happened? I've never been hit like this. That's th that, that's the look. His eyes went yeah. somewhere. You talk to those fighters, they don't know what happened. And ever since that fight, Adrian stopped letting his hands go. It was that fight. But, hey, Kermit, that's just like what you and Margarito. Like, when you heard, I mean, everybody hear about each other, their power. How he hit. Like, in small, he probably going to hit this car. But when you got in the ring, you like, man, what the fuck is you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No, absolutely, man. You're right. You're right. Yeah, it's man. It's just I, I think that, you know, like I, I just don't don't get how um this commissioner's I mean, there's a commissioner for every state. And you know, you look at football and you look at basketball, like those guys, man, there's only one commission, one commissioner. And so there is one commissioner, and and man, they make sure that the sports are clean. Like once you get caught, and especially in, in, in football, with whatever pads or whatever steroids, you done. Even smoking marijuana, like you're just done. Yeah. Why can't it, why can't it be like that for boxing? I believe there's too much money riding on one person. That's why I told people these commissions. It doesn't mean shit. I don't care if they're in the room, man. Yeah, you know, saying you have you, it's who you can sell. These commissioners, you'll have. I heard there could be up to three people from the commission in the goddamn room. Kermit, let me tell you what happened. Um, Mauricio Suleiman mm. on another show, and I had the pleasure of asking him some questions, and uh, it was over the Deontay Wilder situation, and. My time was limited, so I asked him. I said, "Cause Kermit, uh, Kermit, his his, we all accuse Tyson Fury of cheating because why? He's a cheater. That's proven." Um, what happened was he took to social, not social media, but he took to the media in general. Said, "If you think there was any cheating going on, you're stupid." Those are his words. He said, "You're stupid," and. Um, you're just trying. He accused the people of that were accusing Tyson Fury of cheating. He said, You're stupid. Um, you're just trying to take away from this great win that he had. Great win, right? And um, I was in the room. Well, it wasn't even uh, you talking about the second or the first? You're talking about the second fight. The second fight, okay. The second fight. So he said, I was in the room, there was no cheating. So, a year later, he's on another show. I got the pleasure to ask him. I said, Mauricio. Who wrapped the hands in Fury's room? He looked at the screen and said, I don't know. I said, who put on the gloves? He said, I don't know. And I said, where are the gloves? I don't know. I said, well, Mauricio, I know where the gloves are. They're in Sugar Hill's house. How do we know? Because Sugar Hill told us. So if you can't tell me who wrapped the hands, if you can't tell me where the gloves are, if you can't tell me who put the gloves on, how do you know for a fact that nothing took place illegal? Mm -hmm. And then I spoke to somebody from Deontay Wilder's camp. He said, Mauricio shows up, but he just did a yeah. movie. He showed up. Hello, I'm Mauricio. He shook his hands yeah. and he left. He probably so, got a check after that. Right. He can't deny or confirm whether they was cheating. But don't call us stupid. 
Don't call it stupid. You, I just asked you three basic questions, and you couldn't answer them. Mm -hmm. All right. But what I do know is that when shit rolls downhill, because that's gonna happen, he just exonerated himself. You know how? You know what he did, right? He said I was in the room, which was true. But he also had about two or three people that represented the commissions in the room. So when shit hits the fan, all he's going to say is, I paid those two guys over there to watch that shit. I, I had nothing to do with it. I was there, but I was not there. I had guys mm -hmm. on my payroll representing me, but I don't know what they did. They missed that. You understand what I'm saying? My yeah. point is, it's, 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 it's unreasonable to say that cheating doesn't happen in boxing. It's it unreasonable. All, it happens all the time, man. All the time. I, I don't care who you are. Or it happens all the time. All it's the time. Like, okay. Listen, I, how do you like? I, I'm just, I'm just, listen. I, I've seen fighters go from 135 to about 154. Now, 135, those fighters are ripped. 140, 147, you start seeing a little bit of that soft, softness in, in their body. Mm -hmm. I think, and, and I watched, I, I did watch the the I, I, I barely watch fights anymore. Um, but I did watch that fight. How do you go from 147 to 168 and still look that ripped? Come on. Come on. Talk to me. Man. I, listen, man. I, I'm trying to get ripped like that. And I'm at 180, <laughs> 175. And I still can't get that that ripped. You know, he, 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 he looked like a he looked like a gorilla when he took his shirt off. Like seriously. We'll go back. Like yeah. seriously. Like how do you uh, how do you how do you like look like that going shit man to one fifty four to one sixty eight that's four, how many pounds I don't even know how many pounds that twenty some pounds and and, oh, and, ke and kept his speed yeah kept the speed oh, and, and man you, you can't tell me shit man well you know and, the funny and, thing and, about uh, go and ahead and wait the one time that he got caught with that 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 whatever that was pads whatever. Yeah, but then, yeah, then, up, that's uh, exactly what Kanye does, that's, though. That's whatever that meat that he ate in Mexico, really? Come on, mm -hmm. man. He's listen. My opinion about Canelo, he cycles. Yes, Obviously. he cycles. Obviously. That's my opinion. I, listen, I know people that are that are in in, in, in not in the boxing or any sport. That that's just how they you know that just, just to look good. They yeah. cycle. They cycle. And I and, and I get and I see I see and I, I know for a fact that he does that. I know there's no way that he that that you're gonna go for 154, 168, 175 and still look, look like that. No way, man. No way. Well, on top of that, and let me tell you that. And let me tell you, and that's him being light skinned. Imagine <laughs> if he was uh, dark skinned, like you guys. Like seriously, he'd be ripped. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, if I, I if I could say something, go go ahead, focus, bro. Go ahead. Something to that, like. First off, think about this, right? The man goes up in weight, and he—it's not just that he's ripped; he's performing. What happened in the in the the first Golovkin fight? He lost because he didn't throw enough punches because he he moved up in weight, and when he was throwing punches, he got exhausted. That's yep. natural for when you put on new yep. muscle. Now he needs time to condition the new muscle, and in between the next fight, he gets popped for a substance that does exactly that. Yep. Yep. Then goes into the, se the second Golovkin fight. Looks pretty much same exact technique, same exact everything, except he's not getting tired this time. So either he was on the best conditioning program or he's microdosing Clinton. Now, I mean, what what um, what Kermit just said about him being a lighter skinned fella and not not being able to put on muscle. There's something to that, although it, it does depend on the individual, but. There, how many brolic gingers you know? I'm sorry, what was that? How many, how many brolic, brolic gingers? gingers you know? How many uh, what? Brolic, brolic gingers, like, like muscular. Oh, I mean, no, I, I, not, I, not I, know, I know a few. I mean, like, but to look to look like that and, and uh, going up and wait as a fighter, as a fighter, going up yeah. and wait and still look like that. No, man. Mm. I don't, I'm not, not, not I don't, without help. Not without help. <laughs> yeah. Not without help. It don't happen, man. That 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 is. It, it, it was obvious to me, and um, and, and also being the fact that he popped already. 
Mm-hmm. The, the amount of clibuterol that, that he found, that they found. Um, yeah, by the way, Mauricio Suleiman, we're full of shit, but your man, your bread and butter got popped and you up the allowable levels that can be found in him. Not everybody yeah, else, but yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But we're full of shit, though, for thinking that there was cheating going on in any in any way, shape, or form. Good looking out, Mauricio. You just told us who the fuck yeah. you are. And, now, and mm-hmm. Just it, watch... Watch the the um, Garcia, the Garcia, the young 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 buck Garcia, Ryan Garcia. Yeah, Ryan Garcia. Yeah. Watch his last fight, his body compared to before, and you tell me what you think of that. A lot of people have no, been saying a, that. I'm gonna wow. give you. I'm gonna give that. you some more. I'm gonna give you some more. Now go watch. Now go watch Valdez. Go watch Valdez, buddy. Valdez, go Oscar Valdez, his, Oscar Valdez, go watch his body at one twenty six and go watch his body now. <laughs> oh shit! You look like a fucking bodybuilder. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> I ain't really want to say nothing. Hey, look at Quinello last fight. Look at his last fight. He looked like he was yeah. damn roided up in that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. What we're saying is that the dudes that under them, they looking too fucking ripped up now. Now, go. I'm just saying. Go look at him in his last fight. Go look at him and and, and when he was fighting with uh what's his name uh Manny Manny uh Manny Barca. I mean uh no, no. uh Ro, Ro, Rovers Ro, Rovers Robles 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 now now go look at his body when he was when he was under Manny. Now look at his body when he fought yesterday. He looked ripped the fuck up. Cause I was looking at him like, damn, this nigga look ripped the. Fuck what the fuck? Listen, there's a, there's a few there's a few fighters that that today there's a few fighters that are are, are very ripped, but you can tell they're it's natural. The the the, the uh, gay and his brother are ripped. That's natural. Mm-hmm. To me, that's natural. Um, uh, what's the one kid that he was in the Marines? Um, oh, Jamal, uh, Herring. Herring. Yeah, he's that real ripped. But that's natural. Yep. It's the only guys, Wild. man. Hey, but my, way, my man. Little, Wild is natural too. My little, my little brothers, my little brothers been ripped like that since they was young. What I'm saying, they're, they're, they're natural. They're natural. Right. Right. They're natural. Just like the, just like the, the um, just like the, uh, the brothers, uh, Anthony and um, Durrell. Uh, no, no, nah, uh, from DC. Um, is they from oh, oh, uh, 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 You talking about the Peterson yeah. brother? Peterson. Yeah, Peterson. those Peterson guys. Brother. They work oh, hard. Yeah, yeah. They work hard. They're, they're, that's natural, man. Like, I'm I'm not buying that stuff with 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 Kylo and those guys, man. No way, man. And he's getting away <laughs> with it, Scott Free. He's getting away hey, with it. Hey, can I ask money, you? Money, man. Money talks. Money's gonna hide a lot of things. They 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 yeah. they generate they generate more money in boxing, so they never do what the fuck they want to do. Yep, you're absolutely right. And that's that's yeah. the thing. Like, we we need one commissioner that don't give a shit about what, just like just like football and, and basketball and, and whatever other sport out there professionally. They, one that one commissioner he's, just needs to come in and just take care of that stuff. They need yeah, one. Is- they need they need one or two belts and one commissioner. Fuck it. That's all yep. they need, man. Because th- that'll clear up all this fucking confusion. This is yep. disgusting, man. Mm-hmm. And, and and depending on. The fan base and the popularity of the fighter, they're not gonna they're gonna ignore a lot of this shit. And um, I know I can't ever get through a show without bringing up Fury and Wilder, but this is why I, I go so hard yeah, about cheating in general. All right. I'm talking, I'm I'm talking to the group now. I have Kermit Centron over here. I said that this man has been cheated for over a decade now. Okay. I held when Shane Mosley finally came clean, I held his feet to the flames. Everyone that knows me personally know I did. I said, come on, god damn it. Hmm. You're, you're a good athlete. Why you don't need that shit? Whoa. You, and with that shit in your stream, you still couldn't do nothing with Winky Wright. Mm-hmm. Come mm-hmm. on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Stop, stop playing with us, man. All this shit. Look what they tried to do to a Shockey Foster with the fucking gloves. Don't tell me. And and that motherfucker almost made it to the ring with those goddamn gloves. If those Shockey people didn't go into that locker room. And actually, physically feel those gloves. Who knows what would have happened? You understand? 
So whether it's the, the Clint Bunibal or the, whatever kind of fancy stairways, or Mosey was using cream in a clear. Hmm. Cream in a clear, he was using that shit. <laughs> I mean, what are we what? trying to do, man? Fighters die in the ring. But that's what I was Under about to normal say. circumstances. Kermit, Kermit, motherfucking, uh, uh, what's his name? That's from my city, uh, uh, the Fort Trinidad. Anybody that fought Trinidad, anybody that fought Margarito, anybody that just like Deontay Wilder, y'all should be fucking mad because them guys could have fucking killed y'all, man. That's what I'm saying, man. Deontay got a fucking dent in the side of his fucking head by a guy that couldn't bust a grape. You can't tell me he ain't fucking cheap. And, you and can't I tell me that. that. But he went 12 rounds with him already and didn't do none of the damage he did in the first fight. Ain't no way it could be night and day from one fight to the other. Listen, I, I know, um, uh, let's, let's talk about the, the wider fight. Uh, I don't know if it was the first or the second fight. I think it was the first fight. Well, uh, there's a perfect, perfect picture of um, Fury throwing a jab, I think it was. Perfect picture. Now, I know when I wear my gloves, my, my knuckles are like right there with the, at, the, at the end with the gloves. Fury's glove, when he threw that jab, I, listen, I got I got a funny picture. I, I'm sure you guys seen it. No. Yeah, the 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 glove, the padded glove was up here. It was up here. We know the one you're talking about, but fuck that one. This <laughs> one is explaining, bro. Nah, right. Right. Listen, listen. This shit everybody, needs some explaining. Hold up. Listen, everybody <laughs> keep bullshitting, right? Hey, Kermit, I was going to ask you, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh my oh my god. No pad. Oh, There's no pad in that damn glove. That looks that looks like that looks like one of them um old school saggy uh, titties or some uh, shit. Uh, gloves that, that you you the, the old everlast gloves. gloves. Yeah. The old yeah. everlast gloves. Yeah. Hey, do you did you watch the uh, did you watch the Valdez Bashelt fight? I didn't watch that fight. No, I heard okay. about it though. I'm I'm gonna tell you what I seen in that fight. I watched it last night. When Valdez caught him with a nice little pop shot in the fifth, I think fourth or fifth round, he lost his legs totally. His legs was gone for the rest of the fight. They should have stopped that fight in the fifth round, in my opinion. But him trying to gather himself, if he had an opportunity, Valdez stopped, put, stopped punching and everything, was being yep, more defensive yeah, yeah, and all that. Next thing you know, he catches him again. And later round, catches him again, drops him. And then he had no legs at all. And then he finally walked into the knockout punch. Nah, I said that to say this. That. No, Wait. because he had no legs. He beat the legs off and underneath him. When a fighter don't have their legs, it takes away from all their offense. It makes them. Oh, it oh. makes their punches not even. Their, their punches are not mm -hmm. even 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 effective at all. Because well, y'all know Michelle can throw. Not even, not even that. The, the focus. The focus. Like you focus is is gone. Right. You ain't got no concentration on where you're placing your punches. Mm -hmm. You don't know how to maintain your stamina. You don't know how to do nothing. All you're doing is basically in survival mode. But then I go back and I watch the Wilder fight, and I remember what Tay said. Tay said Wilder almost kicked him on his way to the on the ring wall. He damn near kicked him because his legs were gone. His legs were I gone. don't want to hear nobody tell me that, hey, look, man, uh, Wilder, Wilder's making excuses about the suit. You think he can carry a 40-pound suit if his legs are gone? I was in the Marine Corps eight. I was in the Marine Corps for eight years. I carried around a 65-pound pack. I had, I messed up the meniscus in my left knee. When my leg was gone, I could not carry that pound. And I carry that. I trained with that pack on. Easy money. Trained with it. But I could not carry that same pack that I was used to carrying the whole time because my legs were gone. They were physically gone. There was nothing I could do about it. You know what I mean? But I don't want to hear no one tell me that Deontay Wilder is making an excuse saying that his legs are gone. Or he, it was it's impossible that he got cheated. He got fucking cheated. No way you can damn justify you fighting 12 rounds, getting knocked out in the first fight, to going walking straight through every one of his punches <laughs> in the second fight. And you all of a sudden getting discouraged. And then Nicholas Asbury, who trained in your camp, shows you be ripping, you be ripping paneling out of your gloves. He Nick sure Asbury, and he was just here two, two weeks ago. Yep. Yes, that's 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 that's, that's like that like, like gets me. It's like you, you got you got proof right there on how Bro, bad how is he that not in jail. Was. Come on, right. man. Like, how's he not in jail? That's the question. Crazy. Mm. How's he not in jail? It's an I, organized effort. So that's what my thing was with Mauricio Suleiman. You calling us stupid. All right, just like you called us stupid, You're fucking stupid. He, he, he called us stupid, right? But meanwhile, meanwhile, 
the Japanese woman, Togo, made it to the ring with those gloves and beat up the other, um, what was beat that woman's Mexican name? Girl. The Mexican girl. Beat her ass. And, and Mauricio was on it. He was on it. He had the gloves on his desk. That's why I asked him. I said, where's Fury's gloves? Because they're not on his motherfucking desk. They're in Sugar Hill House. But when when uh, 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 the, the, the Mexican chick got her ass beat by the, the cheating ass Japanese chick, the gloves were on his desk. And he was on he it. The word and that bitch, that bitch cheated. And he said, skimming the gloves. And we're, here we are with the same situation. Why aren't the gloves on your desk? So you could tell us, no, I have the gloves. Y'all are stupid. There's nothing wrong with the gloves. I said, Marisa, where the gloves? He said, I don't know. Stop playing with us, man. Stop playing with I, us. Go I, ahead. Go ahead, Batman. Hey, no, nah, I wanted Kermit to go. Did you see that fight, Kermit? No, I didn't watch it, no. Nah, Which fight? Just put, hey, just put it up on YouTube, right? I want you to go look at this fight. From round one, you were walking a puncher down. Little man, no, the fix must be in. I know something wrong with him, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to go ahead and walk him down before this fucking whatever the fuck we got on this guy wears fuck off. Wears off. The boy hit that boy with a right hand. Go back, furry, come back, step back, and start walking his ass down some more. I never seen this a day in my life. A fucking a, a non puncher walking the puncher down. From round one, mm-hmm. and, and let me add to the argument, okay? And this this is perfect. Let me add to the argument. Curtis Anderson, salute to you, brother. Um, let me add to this argument. Y'all ready for this shit? Deontay Wilder knocked the shit out of Dominic Brazil in one round. Last night, I saw Dominic Brazil who was nowhere near the same guy from when he fought Wilder, from the same guy from when he fought uh, AJ. The Dominic Brazil I saw last night was slow, sluggish. He didn't have his feet underneath him, and he went 12 rounds with Otto Valin, who bust up Tyson Fury. Bust Fury shit. Bust Fury shit. Almost beat him. Okay? Otto Valin went 12 rounds with a half-assed Dominic Brazil. You're going to tell me that that Tyson Fury that fought Otto Valin is the Tyson Fury that beat Deontay Wilder? Now, I don't do triangle theories. I don't. But in this instance, don't tell me that shit, man. Because that's the same. The Otto Valin I saw last night was the same one that I saw versus uh, Tyson Fury. He gave him all the headache in the world because they didn't feel that they needed to to cheat that man because he was a non-threat. I bet you if they could take that back, they'd be poisoning his water and fucking with his gloves. I bet you they did cheat him. Hey, to add on to that, Drew, to add on to that, um, did you watch, um, like I I watched the Otto Wallen fight, and I I believe Otto Wallen won that fight against Fury, but I do too. I can tack on some more names. I can tack on some more names. Spilka, uh, Bermaine Stavern, uh, Ollie Harrison. All those, all those fighters got one thing in common. When they got in the ring with Deontay Wilder, they were never the same again. Never. never and even Luis Ortiz, they're never the same again. They're never the same again. But there is no way you can tell me that Fury, who has numerous amounts of people who say he's pillow fisted, he That's can't right. he can't punch worth a shit. He couldn't punch his way out of wet prepper bag. Now all of a sudden he's walking towards the man who has 42 knockouts, has a 97% KO ratio. There ain't no way in the blue de- in blue hell that you could tell me that Deontay Wilder wasn't cheated in that fight. There and he's cracking skulls. He's putting. Well, he didn't believe skulls. it himself. Right. Ain't no, no way. Ain't, ain't no way. Tommy, yo, gain and wait. Gain and wait. Do not protect your chin or your. Oh, tail. Sorry? Or, or, I say gaining weight, putting on weight. Do oh, not yeah. strengthen strengthen no. your chin. Yes, oh, you change your chin. Don't matter if you're 135 pounds or 140 or heavyweight. It don't matter. That you change your chin. <laughs> this is yep. what I'm saying, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, that, you, that was that was the thing they were saying. Uh, he gained weight, for he can push him around, for he can walk him down. Gaining weight, do not strengthen in your chin 
not stressing nothing. Mm-hmm. Your equilibrium, your the, the your temple getting caught in your temple, it doesn't strengthen none of that shit. And How do you gain so much weight? Gain weight, don't put the power behind your punches. Because if you can't punch, you can't punch. How'd you gain so much weight? Get more power in your punch and not get tired in such a short time. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Gain, gain no, no, why, don't you ask, why don't you ask uh, Canelo? <laughs> he might know the answer to that. <laughs> facts. <laughs> Big facts. No end. Oh, my God. This, 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 man, so I guess... I guess in closing, right, Kermit, is there cheating in boxing? There's, this is man, 100% there's cheating, 100%. There's a few, <laughs> there's just a few fighters that are nat- don't natural, they clean. But a lot of those fighters, man, they cheat. A lot of fighters cheat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's crazy, man. Um, it, it's it's disgusting, man. It's disgusting. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pack it up right here. Um, Kermit, let everyone know how they can find you. They can follow you, brother. Listen, man, I'm, I'm on Twitter uh, now. You can just Kermit, Kermit St. John. Uh, I'm on. Uh, that's the only thing I, I I use right now on in social media. Uh, Twitter. Um, look me up. Uh, hit me up. I'll accept your your friendship there. Um, so the way you can get me now. Would you want to run it back with Antonio Margarito? Oh man, I listen. I'll fight Margarito the third time. I don't care, man. <laughs> right now, uh, you know, it's funny because, like, uh, you know, I'm a little older, but I still feel like I'm 25. You know, I, mm-hmm. I don't abuse my body. I, I still, you know, work out. You know, I still somewhat eat healthy. Um, but I've been on and off with uh, with uh, canine. Oh, canine? Yeah, with canine. Oh, man, yeah, right there. I like canine. It's, 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 he, he got a little. He got a little. Uh, fa- I guess he got a little offended. I don't know. Uh, we were just talking uh, on, on Twitter and uh, mm-hmm. through Jay Leon Love, and uh, it was Canine trying to get a, a fight with Jake Paul. But at the same time, Canine's over there saying, "Oh, let him fight a real fighter." But then again, I'm like, Canine, you you had, you want him to fight a, a real fighter? But then again, you you fight him who's not a real fighter. Ooh. So they, they him and I just started going off. And I'm like, I, I called him out. Come on, man, let's do it. We can do it. You know, wow. Like, you want to fight a real fighter? Just do it. We can fight. But you know, can I just not? It's he, he's just a bark. He all he does is bark, man. That's all he does, bark. Well, uh, I mean, yeah, look, I, I'll fight him. They, they might be. <laughs> they, 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 they might. They might. You know, they might be something that could that could get set up, man. If it, if it puts some some bread in your pocket, man. Why not? He, he, man, he just he just listen, man. I, me, I'm I'm good, man. Like listen, I got a, a beautiful home. Uh, my kids are great. They're good, and but uh, I, I just want to. You know, if I if I come back to fight, it's because I, I miss the competitiveness. You know. Of competing as a, as an athlete, um, but if you if we can, if we could get Margarito so out, if we could get Margarito out, oh, I'll fight. Get, him. I'll fight, him. fight him, no doubt. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, no I, doubt, I'd like man. to see no that, doubt. man. I don't know. Like hey, hey, no, fuck that. Go twelve, because I, I think Togi ain't gonna make it. Listen, we'll go fifteen rounds, man. I'll, I'll be ready. Ooh, I'll be ready. I just want to see you I'm knock him the hell out. That's what I want to see. You stop. You stop Margarito in three rounds, man. I, and I always thought that that fucking cheating ass motherfucker, man. I can't stand that motherfucker, man. I can't stand that motherfucker, man. I can't stand him. I can't stand him. There's there's a lot of fighters out there, man. A lot of people just they just can't stand, man. But I, I do. I have to be honest. Uh, I agree with you. Margaret was one of them guys that I can't stand. Yeah. It's just fucking disgusting, man. Oh, that's disgusting, man. I am ill. Well, let them know how they can find you, brother. Yo, you can find me right here on YouTube. I am Ill Will. Instagram, same thing. I am Ill Will. Uh, shout out to the Almighty LDBC. Shout out to Trick Noti, man. Shout out to you, Drew, man. Shout out to my brother Batman in the building and Kermit Central and the man, the killer. You know what I mean? The killer. Focus you guys. Appreciate you guys. Focus ball. Let them know how they can find you, brother. See you. He always, man, focus ball want all the smoke, man. That right, brother hey, want all the smoke. Tell they can find you. Focusballs.com if you're ready to take your striking game to the next level. And on YouTube. No digging it down. No digging it down. Batman, let them know how they can find Pretty you and the family. Or, 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 or your whole clan. The, 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 the Russell ah. clan. <laughs> hey, man, you can find me at, uh, on Drew Titan early Sunday at 7. 
Uh, you can go on IG, everything still cruddy. You can follow Mr. Gary Russell at uh, uh, Mr. Gary Russell. You can follow Antoine Gary Russell at uh, uh, Gary A. Russell. And you can follow uh, Antonio Russell at Gary Another Russell. Now then, just take Russell, you find all of them. You <laughs> 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 guys take, just Google Russell, you find anybody, all, all, the, all the brothers, man. I tell you what, you man. Go. All those, all these guys are good fighters, man. All of them, and that, you know, and it's funny because like that doesn't happen often. Like, you don't see that, you know. You don't see that in, in family. You don't see uh, uh, you you might get the older brother be the, a good fighter, but then the rest kind of like just like they're like, yeah, they're okay. But these guys from from the oldest to, to the youngest, man, they fucking can fight. And that's what's up, man. It's the it's, it's the fighting Jacksons. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jackson family. Right. it's more than just five of them. It was like 13 of them. Of them. Yeah. Trick Noti, let them know how they can find you. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, uh, Facebook. I'm Anthony Carter on Facebook. That's my government name. I don't mind giving it out. I ain't doing it wrong, but yeah, you can reach me there. And uh, everybody on the panel, hey, appreciate everybody. Kermit, man, appreciate you coming on. I'm going to keep in touch with you, man, like yeah, I man. always do. Yeah. And everybody in the chat, man. Appreciate everybody in the chat. No doubt. Yo, Kermit, man, much love. We definitely hey, going to have you back, hey, but before man. We guys, leave, thanks, again. thanks for having me on, hey, man. I appreciate you guys. Hey, before we leave, Kermit. Hey, Kermit. Go look back at that Deontay Wilder fight, right? The second I will, man. I'll, I'll watch it. Now, nah, listen. I'm about to tell you what the watch for. I'm about to tell you. When they first come up for the, uh, you know, the look at the level for them to, to get the instructions, Look at Deontay Wilder. Then I want you to keep your eye, right hand glove, uh, Tyson Fury the whole fight, and tell me what you. And if you can come on next Sunday, tell me what you seen. All right, cool man. Okay. You no know, diggity down. Appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, man, much love and appreciation, man, Kermit. We definitely gonna have you back, man. Definitely, brother, man. You're not a man. Thanks for the you lookout, man. Appreciate we're, you guys. We're, we're, we're fans of yours, man, and I'm, I'm gonna try and get. Antonio Margarito out of retirement, man, because I, I want to see you get that get back. I'm pissed off, man. I'm mad. You get him out, man. I'm, I'll be ready. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, man. Yo, much love and appreciation to all y'all, man. All right, take it easy, guys. We're on deck, man. Be safe. Later. All right, peace, y'all. Later.